What's going on guys? I want to wish you a huge Merry Christmas from all the wildlife warriors here in Australia. This will be my final video for this year, the Christmas countdown. Merry Christmas, you filthy animal. I've put together a sweet compilation of spiders and centipedes, my top 10 takedowns for this year. It's a Christmas miracle. So hit me up in the comments what your favourite takedown was and I'll see you next year. So at number 10, we're kicking things off with my all-time favourite centipede, Petco. Hi, I'm Petco from the YouTube channel called The Dark Dam. Now this first attempt wasn't the best because right after he grabbed that cricket, he took it straight under his hide. So I thought I'd try another cricket and tong feed him because he's always hungry and as soon as he senses something in his enclosure, he just goes ballistic. taken that one underneath as well so I'll let him eat and then lift up his hide so that we can see a bit more of him and his dark features. He's the only centipede in my collection with these colours. Next up on our Christmas countdown is a never before seen takedown from my little red back. Beasley. Beasley? <laughs> Even though she's the smaller of this species that I have in my collection, she's just so badass. I mean, check out how far she wraps up that giant ant. And I've also got a slow motion angle from the front and you can really see how pro redbacks are at webbing. Just awesome. She kind of lassoes the sticky web around the legs of the ant and there's also another line of web that secures the prey away from the wall and high above the floor. They do this every time. Once in position she just wraps more and more web which actually sticks the ant's legs to its own body and as it struggles and wriggles around to try to get free the more it gets stuck. I really love watching how they weave their web with those long back legs. See how she cuts and trims lengths of web around the ant like she's giving herself room to move and not wasting any unused web. I've actually seen red backs eat the glue from the web that's not being used. We shot this last sequence as a time lapse because the whole process of digestion, you know, it's quite slow when the toxic venom is turning the ant into liquid. You can see Beasley's abdomen increasing in size as she drinks the ant in a matter of hours. My next centipede is Raphael, and I put in a mealworm for him. 
he really likes them at the moment. But unfortunately, this takedown was all underground. I thought it was pretty cool though, like seeing the substrate shaking a bit like an earthquake. And now here's a better mealworm takedown that hasn't been shown on my channel yet. And it's really good to see Raphael eating again because he didn't have much of an appetite in the colder months. And he just destroys this mealworm. And here's a centipede time lapse, which was filmed over about 20 minutes. Now this takedown I just got so many comments about. I really loved the two angles we filmed it at and the speed, man. Huntsmans are just so quick. Six will be another centipede slash mealworm feed that went really well. The Duffer Brothers are my huge tiger stripe centipede. This is actually the species that got me into the hobby when I was just four years old. My first actual pet was a tiger stripe. Okay, now we're into the top five. Ramona Flowers, she's my red-haired Rubicetta tarantula. Check out that layer of web. I thought I would try a tongue feed for you guys so we can get a good look at her fangs. You can see them go in real deep in that slow motion angle. Then of course she retreats back underground. Now Stipe, my biggest gigantor centipede, comes in at number 4 on the Christmas countdown takedown list. This episode actually did pretty well this year, and this vicious roach takedown just stole the entire show. 
I mean, there's some full-on crazy fang action and insane holds, and I love how he pinned him down and used some real high-level technique to finish him off. Okay, so for the top three, I just had to put in both of my funnel web takedowns. They're just too cool. Spud web, my blue mountains funnel. Easy takedown for him. Now Pyro, my most popular funnel web, the Sydney, his takedown lasted a bit longer than usual. Most of the time they're only like a second long, but this one was funny because the cricket was like nosing around the funnel, peeked in for a closer look, and then he sees what he's up against and he tries to run, but you can see how quickly Pyro turned the tables. Well, well, well. How the turntables. Now it wouldn't be a top 10 list without McGregor. I mean, he's just a straight up gangster. This was the first mealworm he ever ate and he destroyed it in a matter of minutes. It's pretty impressive. Now before I reveal the number one takedown of the year, here's a few honourable mentions. You know, like other cool takedowns. Thank you.
going to be a tie for first because I couldn't decide on which actual spider was going to take the number one spot. So Liam is my biggest wolf spider and she's just fearlessly taking down this mealworm. Man, it was sick as. I've got a few different angles of that for you guys. a while to finish off this worm but she did it then the next day she laid an egg sack and had a ton of babies update coming soon and now for Haley Williams my huge red back she also gets the number one takedown of 2018 with this spectacular display of web technique It was so impressive how she does it, just her awareness of the elements around her and her precision and knowing when to strike. When she's faced with completely new prey that she had never encountered before, it's like she has this incredible instinct and knows exactly what to do. We just shot some great footage that day and got right up close to her with the macro lens. Haley's just always been so good to watch because every takedown is different and unique and I actually learned so much from seeing her in action. Well that's it, I hope you guys liked my top 10 takedowns of 2018. So we'll see you in the new year. Thanks for watching.